Hi everyone, I'm C. Maria from Founded on the Bible. Our series, God Calls You by Name, is based on Genesis 17. Names Are Important, Part 1, is about God introducing himself to Abram as El Shaddai, God Almighty. Today, we will ask the question, why does God introduce himself as El Shaddai? When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am El Shaddai, God Almighty. Serve me faithfully and live a blameless life. This is the first mention in the Bible of the name of God, El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty. El Shaddai means the one who is limitless in power. God is preparing Abram so the miraculous could take place in his life. God gives him the key that allows him to intervene in Abram's life as the almighty and limitless in power, serve me faithfully and live a blameless life. The actual Hebrew says, walk before me and be blameless. The phrase, walk before me, is defined as living a wholesome, unimpaired, innocent, and integrous lifestyle. How do you walk and live blamelessly? By removing anything in your heart that takes the place of God. Little children, guard yourselves from idols, false teachings, moral compromises, and anything that would take the place of God in your hearts. This is not the first time Abram had to check his heart for idols. In the past, he was forced to remove Lot from his household, whom he loved as a son. He was thrown out of Egypt because he treasured his own life above Sarai's, and he gave a tithe of his spoils to Melchizedek to cleanse himself of greed. As needs change in the seasons of our lives, opportunities for compromise reveal what's in our hearts. God warns us to check our heart because our actions will follow our priorities. Before God moves in his mighty miraculous power, it is necessary for an idle check. What consumes our day and what's our motivation behind it? Do our daily thoughts and actions prove that God is first in everything we do? God wants to display his limitless power in our lives. It's time to purge the idols. Any false teachings, moral compromises, or anything else that takes its place in our hearts. Let's pray. Father, you know me better than myself. Bring to my awareness anything that has taken your place in my heart. I am sorry and repent of wrong priorities. You are my priority and everything else is second place. I decide to walk and live blamelessly. Thank you for being my El Shaddai, God Almighty, limitless in power. I love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. To find out more about Names Are Important, visit our blog. The link is in the description. To keep updated on our current series, God Calls You By Name, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Thank you.